Good evening, I'm Sini Latu and this is Television Tonga News. In the headlines, why 12 gifted aircraft from China expected to arrive in Tonga by the end of May. Tonga will not be affected from Tropical Cyclone Lucy, currently affecting Vanuatu. And important to know that academic qualifications earned overseas is accurate and true. These and more stories, including news from the Pacific, sports, world and the weather information later on in this bulletin. Now for a look at the local news in details. The construction of the Y-12 aircraft for Tonga, gifted from China, was completed last week. This is according to the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister Samuel Waipulu when speaking exclusively to radio and television Tonga news today. We'll join Gali Situyanuko with more on that story. According to the Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Samuel Waipulu, the construction of the 17-seater plane, together with spare parts and the training of local Tongans, is estimated to 14 million per annum project in total. Six locals, including pilots and engineers, are expected to travel to China soon to learn more on how to use the plane. <laughs> Currently, the plan is to bring the plane to Nukalofa by the end of May before the church conference. The color scheme of the plane, which will also the same as the MA-60, consists of free red stripe, also the Monga. Mr. Vaipulu says this is the latest type of Y-12 aircraft and is expected to be registered as A3 SPV or SPT, which means special purpose for Mailahi or Tokelau. Purpose aircraft which will service the two newest in Ewa and also contact patrolling services of the Tongan waters. The plane was constructed in Harbin, China, and government began requesting for the assistance in August last year. The discussion regarding the aircraft is similar to the talks about the MA-60 aircraft, which is used for the domestic air travel between Tongatapu and Mamao. Domestic air carrier Rio Tonga is currently leasing a Y-12 aircraft from Vanuatu, and according to the Deputy Prime Minister, the aircraft was constructed in China. Reporting for Television Tonga News, I'm Kalisi Tuyonuko. Tropical Cyclone Lucy currently visiting the northern side of Vanuatu is expected not to hit Tonga. This was confirmed to Radio Tonga News this afternoon by a senior meteorological officer from the METS office, Moleni Tuholoaki. Mr. Tuholoaki adds, Cyclone Lucy is currently a Category 1 storm. However, it is intensifying and expected to hit Fiji tomorrow night or Thursday morning. The senior METS officer adds, if the cyclone continues to move on its current track, the only impact on Tonga is the heavy rain and period of strong winds expected to gust up to 20 knots. Meanwhile, according to reports on Radio New Zealand International, one death has been recorded as a result of Cyclone Nusi in Vanuatu due to fallen trees. Police is yet to identify two men of interest in relation to the homicide case in Halaleva on February 20th. Tonga police previously called on the public to provide information on the two men who are of interest for the investigation. It is vital for relevant government ministries, private organizations and schools in Tonga to take heed when revising any academic qualifications from overseas. That is according to Principal Qualification Officer from the Tonga National Qualification and Accreditation Board or Peti Pulotu whilst speaking to Television Tonga News. Anasio Falegaono reports. The Principal Qualification Officer from the Tonga National Qualification and Accreditation Board, Opeti Puloto, says this is the purpose of conducting a one-day workshop for representatives from related stakeholders to know more of the qualification issue. According to Mr. Puloto, there are many Tongan and overseas students who travel to Tonga and enroll in local schools. It is vital for related stakeholders to receive the accurate academic qualifications from the students overseas and use the criteria that the TNQAB has set to endorsement of any qualifications. <laughs> 
This program is for the related sectors to be aware of revising qualification achieved overseas. It is vital to ensure that qualifications are accurate, true and reliable. We have set a special criteria to ensure such qualifications are accurate. Secondly, we have to ensure that registration for all programs that students are after high school will take. The qualification officer says that it is easier to endorse Tongans graduates with qualification from neighboring countries such as Australia, New Zealand or any Pacific Islands. But the challenge lies with the qualifications from Tongans graduating from institutes in further foreign countries. Meanwhile, one participant who is a teacher at Dubo Tertiary Institute of Amone says that this is an important training because the numbers of students from overseas who have enrolled in local schools is increasing. This training is important especially for us at the church schools. We have students enrolled from overseas and we want to ensure that they provide accurate and correct qualifications that are recognized by accreditation board. The participants taking part in the training are representatives from relevant government ministries, non-government organizations, institutes and other schools. Challenges of a free press is this year's theme for the fourth international media conference currently underway in Yankun, Burma. The international gathering was officially opened yesterday morning after a welcoming luncheon hosted by a Burmese parliamentarian and a famous leader in the Union of Burma, Ayung Sanju Ki. Anasir Falegano again with the details. The program is attended by 400 journalists from 31 countries all over the world including radio and television Tonga news reporter Fatai Fenga'a. In the remarks from Ong Sang Soo Ji, she emphasized that journalism is not just a profession, but a responsibility for a better society that needs to be upheld and sustained. She says what matters is, at the end of the day, you as a journalist feel that you've done your best at that particular news that you've published or disseminated is truthful, and it will be beneficial for all. The Burmese leader adds it is important to educate young journalists in order for them to inform and educate not just the current generation but many generations to come. The three-day meeting will end on Wednesday, March 12. The International Media Conference is a biannual program. Last year's meeting was held in Seoul, Korea. For Television Tower News, I'm Anasiu Falegaono. A cooking training program was held today for local women from communities which aims at educating them on how to cook healthy meals using the newest vegetable introduced in Tonga, known as the okra. Salamo Fulivai with the details. This is the okra, an introduced vegetable from Japan. According to information from the head of Extension Department of the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, Forestry and Fisheries, who's managing the Women's Division Project, Emanuela Moalehi says, the project is important because it helps encourage local families to consume healthy meal. The program is for women to experience one of the aims of the project, which is to advise the mothers on how to keep healthy. Today we invited mothers over and we asked them beforehand not to eat anything before they come over to the program because they have to do blood and diabetes tests before they continue on with the activities for the day, like cooking using the newest vegetable okra. We're pushing the mothers to cook vegetables and to learn how to make healthy food so when they return home they can cook healthy food for their family also. A Japanese chef was at the training and taught the local women on how to cook okra which helps lower people's blood pressure. Meanwhile, speaking to radio and television Tonga News, a representative from Chaika says they are beginning the program with educating local women at home as they are the focal point in a family. The program targets to enhance the women's cooking skills in preparing a healthy meal for the family. Taking part in this morning's program were two nurses from the Ministry of Health who conducted the medical tests. This project is funded by the JICA office in Tonga through the Ministry of Agriculture, Food, Forestry and Fisheries. For Television Tonga News, I'm Salamo Fulivai. A professor from the Australian Catholic University, Dr. Charles Burford, is currently in Nukalofa to follow up a program on education, leadership in church schools in Tonga. For now, I'll make also with the details. 
This is the second part of the Australian Award Fellowship Program. Speaking to radio and television Tonga News, Dr. Charles Burford emphasised the importance of educating the locals about good leadership because it will help benefit the students. The most important thing of ed education is children's learning. Um, so we focus on on whatever we do in leadership, it must affect the children's learning. And therefore, what we have asked them to do is to make certain that they are able to collect evidence that whatever it is that we are doing as educational leaders, it is having an impact on the children to improve the nature of, the, of their learning. The emphasis in this particular program was to research and find evidence that what we do as leaders makes a difference in the nature of the lives of the children. He adds good leadership can help make a difference in the lives of students. The improvement in leadership is, is, is the way that you start to improve your educational system. That you, it's, it's interesting because the, the really important things are for the people to be involved in the decision making and the ownership of their education. It starts from the bottom. But the inspiration and the direction and the vision for what we want to try and achieve with, with our children and with our country in terms of the nature of its education starts at the top. People must have that vision. And to expose them to other countries and to, to expose them to even to the educational experiences of developed countries, to simply say this is how we, this is how we view it. It's not to say it's the only way to do it, because quite clearly education in Tonga is very different to the education in, in um, New Zealand or in Australia. Um, for a start, it is, it, it, you, the Tongan people are very serious about their education. Um, and very respectful um, and the children are wonderful and far more creative than our children. Uh, if only our children could sing like your children um, and if only they could dance like the Tongan, the Tongan children. He also believes exercising good leadership can help with a country's development. It's finding the sense of what you want to be excellent and how you wish to grow your country because you don't just grow them around the nature of economic development, like the PISA and all that, people pushing towards the nature of being better than other countries, I don't think is the really essence. The essence is to find what your people want for their children um, and to make certain that that is the vision that they take forward for the education of their children. And that needs leadership. That needs people at the top who understand what it is that the country cherishes and values about education and then to make certain that that is, that is protected and developed within the country. So it's, it's not just economic development. That's, that's, the, that's the essence of it. That certainly is one element and, and, and seeing, seeing that element of development being being furthered is important but it's the other cultural the creative and the spiritual elements in education which are equally important that have to also be protected um, now we in the west and in, and in the developed countries can learn a great deal also it's a two-way process you can teach us much about the nature of that that spiritual that cultural and that creative element of education so so we learn too as we kind of we work together in these in these programs but it's develop your leaders to make certain that they have the vision and the strength to be able to take their systems forward participating in this program are representatives from the catholic church education department the free church of tonga's education office and other representatives it is funded by the australian catholic university for television tonga news i'm the Queensland Tongan community have raised 13,000 Australian dollars during a vibrant fundraising concert hosted by the Nofo Akainga Queensland Tonga Council on February 28th. Various Tongan church denominations, Tongan Gava clubs, Tongan ex student associations, families, and individuals attended the concert at the Yoronga High School Hall on Brisbane's south side. The Federal Pacific Insurance Company Limited hoped for better and closer working relationship with a reinsurance company, THB, in Singapore.
The staff of Federal Pacific Insurance Limited were fortunate to have met the chief executive officer of one of the fastest growing reinsurance brokers in the Asia Pacific region, Nick Cochrane, and his wife, Helen Cochrane. A presentation of gifts from the insurance staff of Federal Pacific showed appreciation. According to a senior officer of the insurance department, Mele Goloi, the company was established in 2004 and it has grown progressively in the past years. At the moment, they are dealing with over 500 clients insuring their properties. In an interview with Mr. Cochrane, he explained more of their work in Tonga. Federal Pacific have to protect themselves by arranging reinsurance and this is uh, provided by us with the help of the London insurance market. So um, whilst the, the people of Tonga would like to know that their insurance claim is going to be paid by Federal Pacific, Federal Pacific also need to know that their claims are going to be uh, paid by the, the reinsurers in London. So it is very important that the security provided by the reinsurers is sound and uh, that's what we, we try to do for them. Information from Federal Pacific states that Mr. Cochrane will see the solutions that they provide to overcome the challenges facing insurance companies such as Federal Pacific and will be designed especially for Tonga and not adopted from other foreign solutions. And this is local news. Pacific is up next.